My name is Professor Michio Kaku. I'm a professor of theoretical physics here at the City University of New York. And this is my desk. I've been in this office for about 10 years, and before that, I was in the, the office just right next door. Any questions? Uh -huh. Send me an email. OK. Oh, midterm exams, I got a great. When I was in my living room as a kid, two things happened which changed my life. First, Einstein died. Second, on Saturday mornings, Flash Gordon was on. And I used to love watching Flash Gordon because it introduced me to a whole world of rocket ships and aliens and invisibility shields, cities in the sky. I learned, first of all, that I didn't have blonde hair, I didn't have blue eyes, I didn't have muscles. I was not going to be Flash Gordon. But it was the scientist who invented the ray guns, the starships, the city in the sky. Have you seen any signs of life down there, Dr. Zarko? Not yet, Dale. Science made the whole series work. So my living room as a kid has been now transformed into my office of today. It's kind of messy. As I think Winston Churchill once said, it's pointless to have a nice clean desk because it means that you're not doing anything. So these are just some of the different kinds of awards that I've gotten over the years. One of these days, I'm going to have to post them, I suppose. But somebody did a painting of me, a la Star Wars. So there I am with my... Jedi Knight sword. A lot of the things in Star Wars are actually physically possible, except I do not have a lightsaber. So, <laughs> In my book, Physics of the Future, I take you a hundred years into the future. They're inventing the driverless car. They're inventing the internet contact lens. They're inventing the human body shop, whereby we can grow any organ of the body. They're beginning to tease apart the aging process. All of us will have this technology. All of us will live longer. All of us will know exactly what's happening because we'll have the internet in our contact lens. And we're not going to be happier as a consequence. Um, I don't like to change something unless I really have to. If a computer works and it's old, but it works, if it ain't broke, <laughs> why bother to change it? But if my daughter were to come here, she'd probably say, oh my God, I feel like I'm with dinosaurs. Look, there's a brontosaurus over there. Look, there's a stegosaurus over there. But time moves on. And I say to myself, well, basically, I'm kind of an old-fashioned guy.